basically like a lower coverage foundation for this line over here. I'm excited to see how it will turn out. So stay tuned and I'll be back. Hey guys, in today's video, I want to do a first impressions video on the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. This is a natural finish and medium coverage foundation that provides all day hydration and wear and it also minimizes pores. For the longest time, if you see my other videos, I've been trying to look for a foundation that could eventually replace my A Cosmetics CC Cream. I've been using this for so long and I love it, but it's full coverage, so I want to go for something with a lighter coverage. I haven't had any luck in searching for that. The recent foundation I got was this Becca. Um, Becca Love Your Skin, Skin Loving something foundation and that one was so shitty even though it was on sale i could not not return it because i it was a waste of money so i went back i returned that and i got this one instead like always i am going to put some sunscreen on as my primer the reason i do that is because first of all you need to protect your skin from the uv rays and also this sunscreen is so good at controlling the oil on my skin so i use that as a base i'm gonna go in and apply some under eye concealer just to cover up some of those dark circles now let's get to the foundation here it's in a glass bottle like this and there's like a uh, clear label all around with the It Cosmetics label. I got shade Light Neutral 22. For this tube over here, I am shade Light. Hopefully this one will do, will, will be the right match. Oh, it's very liquidy. Much, li much more liquidy than this one. This one is almost like a solid texture when it comes out if you know what i mean oh uh, look at this uh the minute i put it on i know it's good foundation it's going to be good it applies so easily onto my face and as soon as it goes onto my skin it just looks like it's fully absorbed in compared to um <clears throat> that Becca one I got. My god, that Becca one, it just stays on my face. And as I tap, tap it in, it drags around my face with the sponge. So that's no good. It dries down pretty quickly, but not, not quick to the point that you can't blend it out. And my pores look so smaller, so it's doing exactly what it's saying it, it will do. I am going to... Use a bit more of the concealer just to cover up some of those spots. My pores look so small. Oh my gosh. I do notice that certain parts on my face, like down here and over here and over here, the skin looks a bit drier than other places. But I did apply concealer in this area so i don't know if it's because of the concealer or because of the foundation itself but like over here on this side of my face and on this side of my face it just looks like dewy skin so here's the finished look my skin looks super good right now and i will be going into work like this i will be having a mask on all day during the middle of the day around 12 or 1 ish i will do a quick check-in and after i come back from work i will also do a check-in and give my final thoughts on this new foundation Hey guys, I'm here to give you an update on the foundation after wearing it for 10 and a half hours. I had the mask on for a good part of the day. Well, there is some oil developing in the T-zone area, which is not surprising because I do have pretty oily skin. And the amount of oil that has formed is actually very minimal compared to other foundations I've tried. In terms of the oil control part, it is on par with the CC cream from IT Cosmetics. So I'm 
very happy about that. And there is some dry patches underneath my nose and underneath my chin, which is not caused by the foundation itself because like I mentioned earlier this morning, right after I applied the concealer, I started seeing the dry patches. So I believe it's either because I didn't moisturize enough for these two areas this morning before I apply the makeup or it was because of the concealer. Uh, the mask also made it worse, but overall I would not associate the dry patches with the foundation because on the other parts of my face, you don't see that at all. And in terms of the coverage, so the makeup, it's still in place. And the sides of my pores, they are becoming a little bit more visible, but come on, it's already 10 hours, so I don't uh, think that's a huge issue either. Another observation is that it doesn't dry on my skin like the Rare Beauty Foundation did. It doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel tight, and it doesn't crease on my face. Overall, honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about the foundation. I love it a lot and it has definitely met my expectations from IT Cosmetics and I am keeping the foundation. So if you have oily skin like me, try it out. It's really good and you will love it. And I will be officially replacing my CC cream with this one. Yeah. If you enjoy my review on the foundation, I do have other videos on other products. So check those out and leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this product or if you have any recommendations on other good foundations. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.